Hello guys, uh, peace of Christ be with you. Um, I'm just going to upload something directly. Normally, I usually upload things with my sister and brother from Somali Christian TV, but I have just woken up and um, the reason that I am uploading this is because I seem to remember that I had this dream where God was saying to me that he's given me things and I keep holding them to myself that I am not sharing them with people and I'm supposed to be sharing them and that this information that he's giving me is not just for me um, to think of it for myself I didn't really realize and the time when really this came to me was last night when I was in prayer and I was praying and then um, basically God led me here and so I read it and I just didn't think, you know, and to be honest, there's a lot of things that I have been seeing and God is showing me, but, you know, I just don't share them with everybody because I just thought it was for me to understand things. But uh, apparently God says that is holding, that I'm holding this information for myself and that I'm supposed to be, obviously, if it's holding, then it's something that I should not keep to myself. I should be sharing with the rest of his children. So, uh, I'm just going to upload this and I hopefully will also ask um, my sisters from the ministry if they will also um, upload this on their um, channel. Sorry if I'm very disoriented, it's just because I've literally, um, I woke up and this was what basically this dream about holding all this thing was in my mind. And the first thing for me that came into my heart and I thought, God, what am I holding? And then this is what he said I was holding. So here we are i am giving this to you i pray that you will consider it and just listen to it i won't be talking so much because it is essentially literally straight up from the bible so god wants us to know that i guess this is happening or is going to happen i'm not very sure but i just know that i'm supposed to share these things with you Thank you so much. Praise Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords, and the Living God. Amen. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord. I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, saith the Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts hath sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass, and as I have purposed, so shall it stand, that I will break the Assyrian in my land, and upon my mountains tread him under foot. Then shall his yoke depart from off them, and his burden depart from off their shoulders. This is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth, and this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations. For the Lord of hosts hath purposed, and who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? Um, I just wanted to show you who the Assyrian um, is. And it says, apparently from H338, in the sense of successful Ashur, the second son of Shem, also his descendants and the country occupied by them, that is Assyria, its region, its empire. Asu, Assyria, Assyrians, CH388, and that is in the sense of going a step, going step. And um, we also know that the Bible does give the Antichrist this name as well of the Assyrian. So that's what I wanted us to just um, clarify there. And then now we're just going to continue uh, with what basically the Lord wants us. To know. In the year that King Ahaz died, 
was this burden. Rejoice not thou, whole Palestina, because the rod of him that smote thee is broken. For out of the serpent's root shall come forth a cockatrice, and his fruit shall be a fiery flying serpent. And the firstborn of the poor shall feed, and the needy shall lie down in safety. And I will kill thy root with famine, and he shall slay thy remnant. Howl, O gate, cry, O city, thou whole Palestina art dissolved. For there shall come from the north a smoke, and none shall be alone in his appointed times. What shall one then answer the messengers of the nation? That the Lord hath founded Zion, and the poor of his people shall trust in it. Right. Um, so we know that Zion is the city of God, the heavenly uh, Jerusalem, the city of David. It is not the earthly one. Um, and that the people who belong to the city of God are the people who are the witnesses of God, the people who trust God. And how are we witnesses to God? We are witnesses that he is Jesus, that he has come down in the flesh of man and has made himself to be a lowly servant as that of a man and that has been crucified on the cross outside Jerusalem and has paid for our sins and whosoever believes that the Lord God has redeemed them that Jesus Christ the hand of God the mighty hand of God has redeemed them then he shall be saved this is the whole gospel for there is no other God in Israel Shema Israel the Lord your God is one. This is what God said, that you should not think that there are any other gods in Israel, but that there is only one God and that there is only one Savior. And this is what the Lord God says. Isaiah 53. Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form, nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised, and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Amen. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked, and with the rich in his death. Because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin... He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many. For he shall bear their iniquities. 
Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors. And he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. So the Lord God said that he prophesied with the prophet Isaiah. He gave you the whole gospel before the Lord was revealed. Yet when the Lord was revealed, you did not esteem him. You did not pay any attention to him. Everything had been laid bare before and yet you did not even consider. So you must consider now. You must Consider now, you must take these things to heart now, for there is not so much time as you might think. There is your time, you don't know whether you will be alive tomorrow, nor do you know whether the Lord Jesus Christ will return even tonight. So you don't think every day that you hold your life in your hands and that tomorrow you are the one who will make yourself to wake up. This is what God says. Also, he says this, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek or the Gentile. 1 Corinthians 1 18, For the preaching of the gospel is foolishness to them that perish, but unto us which are saved it is the power of God. Corinthians 1 24, But unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. So please, my dear brothers and sisters, hearken to the voice of God. Listen to what this thing is saying to you. Please, please, please listen. This is what God says. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and let the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return unto the Lord, for he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will be abundantly pardoned. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. So don't think that, you know, oh, God is God is just going to forgive me when I feel like I want to be forgiven. I keep telling you, we don't know how much time we have. We don't know when the Lord is coming back. The Lord could come back tonight. The Lord could come back tomorrow. I have I literally never been so afraid from waking up from something like I am right now. And you know that I myself was a Muslim and I came to the Lord because I saw a vision and a dream of Jesus Christ returning. On the vision, I saw him on a white horse coming back to fight against armies of black people, black people. Black people on, I mean, people on black horses wearing black cloud, uh, black clothing. As I keep telling you, I just woke up from a dream, forgive me. So yes, the Lord was an, a white horse wearing all white. And he was coming back riding to fight against armies of men who were on black horses. And they were wearing black clothing and they were carrying the Shahada on their flags. And I, it's interesting that this is talking about a Syrian and the Palestina not to rejoice for the land of God. Friends, brothers, sisters, I tell you, repent, for the kingdom of the Lord is at hand. Isaiah 56 Thus saith the Lord, Keep ye judgment, and do justice, for my salvation is near to come, and my righteousness to be revealed. Blesses the man that doeth this, and the son of man that layeth hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and keepeth his hand from doing any evil. Neither let the son of the stranger that hath joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, The Lord hath utterly separated me from his people. Neither let the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. For thus saith the Lord unto the eunuchs that keep my Sabbaths, and choose the things that please me, and take hold of my covenant. Even unto them will I give in mine house, and within my walls, a place and a name, better than of sons and of daughters. 
I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Also the sons of the stranger that join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord, to be his servants, and be one that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and taketh hold of my covenant. Even them will I bring to my holy mountain, and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon mine altar, for mine house shall be called an house of prayer for all people. The Lord God which gathereth the outcasts of Israel saith, Yet will I gather others to him, beside those that are gathered unto him, all ye beasts. This is specifically for those people who keep telling us that Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, only came for the house of Israel. This is what the Lord says, everything that you have heard of it. If you didn't hear it properly, please go back and listen to it. God says that every person that joins himself to the house of Israel, will he be acceptable to God? Also the sons of the strangers that join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love he, to love the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is Jesus Christ, Yahshua, which means Jehovah saves, for there is no other God among you, O Israel, except the Holy Lord, God of Israel. There is only one God, Jehovah, and he became Jesus Christ and came down and saved. And this is what God says. This is why he says that he, Jesus said that I have come in my father's name and you have rejected me. Yet another shall come in his own name and him you will receive. That is why he says to love the name of the Lord to be his servants and everyone to keep the Sabbath from polluting it and to take hold of my covenant. What is the covenant? The covenant is the cross of Jesus Christ. This is the blood covenant that the Lord has made with all the people of the earth and whoever will receive the covenant of the cross of the Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, will be saved. And how will they be saved? God says he will bring them to his holy mountain, which is Zion, and make them joyful in his house of prayer because his house of prayer shall be called a house of prayer for all people it is not just for jews it is not just for the israeli it is for everybody this is what god says listen to what god is saying today listen to all these things that the lord is telling us amen of the field come to devour yea all ye beasts in the forest his watchmen are blind, they're all ignorant, they are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, every one for his gain, from his quarter. Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink. And tomorrow shall be as this day, and much more abundant. This is a rebuke of, of from God to Israel's irresponsible leader. Who is Israel? Anyone that has accepted the blood covenant that the Lord Jesus Christ shed on the cross. All those who are with his witnesses. For God says that, I have joined the stranger to my house. What is the house of God? It is Israel. So anyone who joins himself by accepting Jesus Christ becomes Israel. This is what God is saying. And who are the leaders? These are the pastors and the bishops and everybody that is not doing the work of the Lord. All of them, God says, they are neglecting their work. Therefore, the beasts of the forest are devouring his house. People do not know, for lack of knowledge, his people are being destroyed. The leaders are irresponsible. They are blind. They are ignorant. They cannot back. What is to back? To warn. They are not warning, God is saying. They're sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Why are they loving to slumber? Because they are not watching. Remember when the Lord was in the garden of Gethsemane and he asked the disciples to watch and they kept falling asleep and he kept going to tell them, 
watch, watch. Then he is saying that the leaders, our leaders, our shepherds who are supposed to be our shepherds have abandoned the post. They are no longer, they have abandoned the posts. There is nobody to warn the people. The people are being devoured by beasts of the field because the shepherds are not backing. They cannot raise up a cry for an alarm. So now God is asking us to do this. Because his people, his shepherds that he gave the orders are not doing it. This is why us mothers and fathers and children even now are preaching the word of God. Because everybody has been given dreams. Because everybody has, a, the leaders have abandoned the posts. They have all gone to slumber and to sleep. Sorry, actually I'm so confused. I didn't know this was going to last this long. I thought I was just going to share one thing. But here we are. Here we are. Isaiah 43. But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Saviour. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honourable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee, and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far, and my daughters from the ends of the earth, even every one that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes, and the deaf that have ears. Let all the nations be gathered together, and let the people be assembled who among them can declare this, and show us former things. Let them bring forth their witnesses, that they may be justified, or let them hear and say, It is truth. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. And this is why I am saying that there is no other God in Israel except Jehovah. That he came down as Jesus Christ. There is no other God. Ye are my witnesses. I, even I am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. I have declared and have saved. And I have shown, when there was no strange God among you. Therefore, ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, that I am God. Yea, before the day was, I am he. And there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? And so, this is not me, my own self, deciding who God is. This is what... Jehovah of hosts, the king of Israel, is saying. This is Isaiah. This is before Jesus. This is the Old Testament. And yet here we have Jehovah of hosts, king of Israel, the Holy One of Israel saying that I, even I am the Lord and besides me there is no saviour. Who is the saviour? Jesus. So it is correct if I were to say, I, if God says that I, even I, am the Lord and besides me there is no Jesus. I have declared and I have said and I have showed when there was no strange God among you. Because you like telling us that Paul made Jesus God. Well, Paul had not been born. Paul's mother had not been born. Paul's grandmother also had not been born. Even his great-grandmother wasn't born yet. 
and God was already saying that he is going to be a savior, that he was going to come and save people and that they will it will not be a strange god and it will not be another god but it will be he yahuwah of hosts the holy one of israel that was going to come down and save and that we are his witnesses say the lord that he is god that he is jesus that jesus is god whichever way you want to slice it it he is god god is jesus jesus is god hallelujah amen now we will continue. I did not know I was going to go off on this as a preacher. Praise God. But I have to apparently because this is what I have been told to do. And I will die fast before I don't do this. I will die fast before I disobey God. So here we are people. Here we are. Hallelujah. Praise God. He will give us strength and he will also teach us along the way. Amen. Thus saith the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For your sake I have sent to Babylon, and have brought down all their nobles and the Chaldeans, whose cries in the ships. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters, which bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together, they shall not rise, they are extinct, they are quenched as tow. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. This world is the wilderness and Jesus is the way. There is no other way of getting out of this wilderness. Why is it a wilderness? Because it is a place where there is no God. And for us to go back to God, we must be on the way. Jesus says, narrow is the path that leads to life. But broad is the way that leads to destruction. Get ye on the way of the Lord. Walk ye therefore in it. This is the message God wants us to say. So here we are. Praise God. Dragons and the owls because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. This people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. Did Jesus not say that he is the living waters? That all who are thirsty to go to him and he shall give them drink? Well, here is Jehovah before Jesus telling you the same thing so that you might know and understand that he is, that it is him and there is no strange God among us. Amen. But thou hast not called upon me, O Jacob, but thou hast been weary of me, O Israel. Thou hast not brought me the small cattle of thy burnt offerings, neither hast thou honoured me with thy sacrifices. I have not caused thee to serve with an offering, nor wearied thee with incense. Thou hast bought me no sweet cane with money, neither hast thou filled me with the fat of thy sacrifices. But thou hast made me to serve with thy sins, thou hast wearied me with thine iniquities. I. Even I am he that blotteth out thy transgressions for mine own sake, Amen. and will not remember thy sins. Put me in remembrance, let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Thy first father hath sinned, and thy teachers have transgressed against me. Therefore I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary, and have given Jacob to the curse, and Israel to reproaches. This is what God says. I, even I, am he that blotted out thy transgressions. And Jesus, what does Jesus say? Everyone that accepts the cross will have his transgressions blotted out, covered by the blood of Jesus. That when you accept Jesus Christ as your savior, he will redeem you from your sins. There is no other redeemer except Jesus Christ. And here we have Jehovah saying exactly the same thing, that I, 
even I am he that blotteth out the transgressions for his own sake. Why? So that his name might not be profaned against the heathens. That is the reason that Jehovah does this. It's not because you are deserving of it. It's not because of anything. What have we done? We have made God to serve. We did not serve him, yet have we made him to serve with our sins. This is what God is telling us here. That because of our sins, he had to come down and serve and die on our behalf. Hmm? Consider that. Think of that. That God, the Holy One, the King of the world, the King of the universe, the Lord of hosts, became a man, came down here and served for your sins. Why? Because he loves you. Because he loves you. He eh? says, put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou might be justified. Thy first father hath sinned. Who is our first father but ate Adam? Did Adam not sin against God? Our teachers have transgressed against him. They have not taught us. They have abandoned the post. They are not ringing the bell. They are not calling out. They are not alerting anyone to the destruction that is coming. Everybody wants you to think that it's all happy days. You know, let us drink and eat and fill and tomorrow we will have more of the same. This is what God says that they think is going is, is supposed to be. But God loves you. God loves you so much that he himself came down and served for your sins so that he could blot out your transgression for his own sake. He says in Psalm 23 as well, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Make it me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul for his name's sake. Let us check Psalm 23. I can't even see. I'm probably looking at this right right now, but I cannot see some 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 there we are. Psalm twenty three. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures, he leadeth me beside still waters, he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Exactly what Isaiah is saying in Isaiah 43. Let's start over here. Here. I, even I, am he that blotted out thy transgression for mine own sake and will not remember thy sins. So this is when you accept the cross of Christ. And for this day you have been told there is no other savior. Yes, we know that God is one. There is only one God, Yahuwah of hosts, the Holy One of Israel, the King of the universe. And he has said all these things. And this day I have come and I have told you what he has said so that your soul will not be upon my head because God says that if he sends someone to warn you and he does not come to warn you, then you will die and your blood will be upon my head. But if I warn you and you do not listen, then you will die and your own blood will be upon your own head. So I am today telling you because I don't want anyone's blood on my head. Praise God. Now we will close this i can't believe honestly i thought i was just going to share the first verse when when i started i didn't know that god was going to lead me on this to now praise jesus praise jesus but jesus loves you so much that he wants to save you and i am so sorry if i have because of me you have not heard of this until today i ask for your forgiveness please forgive me people please forgive me i did not know that i was supposed to do this from before i ask you to forgive me i ask you to forgive me i ask you to forgive me because i don't want god to hold me responsible for your lives please please share this message listen to it if you have any muslim friends who tell you that jesus is not god Please share this with them. 
I beg you with tears, share this with them. The time is late. The time is really late. I beg you, share this with your family, with your friends, with your Muslim people. Share this with them. Amen. Amen. I ask God, Lord, to be with you, to go with you, to protect you, to watch over you. Do not fear. Do not fear the reproach of men because that is what has been my fear. I have been afraid that if I do this, maybe people will see me this way. Maybe people will think of me this way. But it is better to fear the Lord than to fear men. For what can men do to us when God is with us? Hallelujah. Praise God. I love you all very much with the love of Jesus Christ. And I ask for your forgiveness also. Thank you so much. God bless you all. God be with you. God go with you. Amen and hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. For our God is holy, 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 the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Amen.